Shirazi tulianza na nayo kwa muda tulipata ujumbe ile tunaita intelligence tukaambiwa kuna kampuni kadhaa zina manufacture pombe bila laiseni wana produce hii pombe bila ya kuweka ama kulipia ile tax tunaita excise tax ile inafaa kulipiwa wakati tulifika kwa hii factory hii factory inaitwa Kedsta Investment wako na factory mara mbili tulienda kwa factory ile inajulikana na tukakagua tukakuta mitambo yao ilikuwa imewekwa seal na Kenya Revenue Authority na tukakuta kuna pombe wa manufacture na tukaangalia tukakuta hiyo pombe iko na genuine stamps mm -hmm. lakini tukiendelea na upelelezi wetu tuligudua wako na factory sababa na ile tuli, tunajua ile genuine na wakati tumefunguliwa tumekuta kuna two or three production line kama hii iko nyuma yangu ina produce pobe pobe hii inaitwa na zawabia inaitwa batian special ndio hii inatolewa hapa nyuma ile mtambo mwingine ile kitu tumeudua kuna aina bili ya pobe ile tumepata hii inaitwa ice hood ice hood tumepata vitu bili ambazo hazifai kuwa kwa market number one, lazima ile kitu una produce utuambie ni nini una produce na ni nani ana produce So hii kitu ikiingia kwa market hata ukunywe kujui ni nani producer. Ile kitu ingine na makosa ile ya pili tumekuta ya juu. Hii pombe inapakiwa kwa chupa ya plastic na hairuhusiwi kisheria. So ndio tumekuja tumekagua kila mahali na tumepata kuna makosa mingi sana huyu mtu anafanya kwa soko. Alafu tukiendelea na upelelezi tukakuta store imewekwa Ethanol. Ethanol ni raw material ya produce hizi product. Tumepata drum karibu tisini zile mwenye hii kampuni ameweka. Hatujapata manager, hatujapata mwenyewe, hatuthibitishie kama amenunua hii ethanol kiharali ama ameileta kwa jia ya smuggling. Na sana sana tunashuku vile hata imekuwa concealed, it is a smuggled product and it is a norm where we are struggling with us. For the first factory which we got, I cannot say they are manufacturing illegally because we have records, a carry officer came, they removed the seal, they manufactured and they sealed again. But for this one, I can almost with to say they are manufacturing illegally. You can see, you can see plastic bottles, stickers without owners, fake stamps and all that. We want to send a clear message to the market. We will not tolerate this kind of uh, business. We will keep on enforcing. Our duty is to ensure only genuine products are in the market. And we will stop at nothing until we remove all illegal, all illicit products which are being sold in the market. The, the consequences, the first one, of course, you lost, there is the loss of revenue. If you affix a fixed terms you are telling us, I've not paid the requisite excise. He has also not, we also not declare VAT. And at the end of the year, we also have lost the population tax, the income tax. So the implication is high. We lose in all taxes. For the common manaiji, for the consumers of the product, I cannot guarantee what they are consuming, especially the plastic one. There was a reason why the government banned plastic packaging of alcohol. So for the consumers, I think we should, we should send a message. Don't consume anything packaged in a plastic bottle. Number two, we also want to educate, I should say this, we educate the consumers of Ako at the common one. We have an application called Soba, <coughs> sorry, called Somarimbo. It's an application you can download in any smartphone, you can scan, and it will tell you whether the product you are consuming is genuine. And it will show you the features. It should tally with the with the, the the description of the of the product. So to the common people, to the common consumers, be careful. Consume what you know, what you are consuming. And please, we have uh, various ways you can report. Recently, KRA introduced a uh, whistle where you can report what you are finding in the market. 
the information will be treated uh, with a lot of confidentiality and action will be taken. You can also report in office, you can come and uh, report and the action will be taken on this.